So today we're going to cover how to make a mock-up in Photoshop using any photo and your work of art. So the first step is to click on the rectangle tool and then make a rectangle roughly the same size that your artwork is going to be mocked up to. And then after that, you want to right click on the layer, go to convert to smart objects and then press Control T or Command T if you're using a Mac. Again, if you're using a Mac, hold down Command. If you're using a PC, hold down Control and click on the corner, maneuver them into position over the screen. Once you have them in position, hit Enter to OK the transformation. And then from here, you simply double click on the smart object thumbnail and it will open up a new tab in which then you will go to file place embedded click on your artwork and then you want to hold shift and scale it up so that it fits and then hit ok to ok that placement and then press Control s or command s to save now you have to make sure you save um, because it's not going to appear on the mocked up version if you do not save this tab first. So I'm going to jump back over to my tab and as you can see it is mocked up on the computer screen. Now the next and very last step is to make it look like it's not just placed on top of the scene but in the scene. So I'm going to double click on my layer and it's going to open up the layer styles. I'm going to click on inner shadow and I'm going to have my inner shadow at 20% and roughly the size, it's a very small inner shadow, so I'm going to put it at 20% also. And my distance is at 2. And then I'm going to jump down to my color overlay to put a slight black overlay over it, so choose black. And then as far as opacity, instead of it being at 100, I'm putting it all the way down to 10% so that it's very subtle. And then press OK. So it looks like the image is in or on the computer screen versus it being just placed on top of the computer screen. Text and change it to artwork. And then save. So command shift or control shift S save as. Always save it as a Photoshop file so that you can go back and make edits to it if you want to use another piece on this same mockup. But if you want to save it as a JPEG, when you upload it to the web, or if you're using it in InDesign, save it as a TIFF file, if you're using it on a printed portfolio. And with that being said, you have completed your first mockup from any image.